Hello everyone welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up. 90 Day Fiancé fans recently learned why Debbie is overprotective about Colt Johnson. It stems from her heartbreaking marriage and a baby's death. Debbie Johnson has been on 90 Day Fiancé for the longest time, but fans recently found out about her painful past before she gave birth to miracle baby Colt Johnson. Debbie from Las Vegas, who debuted as Colt's mother and Larissa Lima's evil mother-in-law in 90 Day Fiancé Season 6, is now living her own fairy tale romance on 90 Day, The Single Life Season 3. While Debbie may have thought she'd never fall in love again 13 years after Colt's father Harley died, fans also would have never expected to like Debbie as much as they do now. Debbie's story about why Colt is so special to her and why them not talking is literally breaking her heart and has moved TLC viewers to tears. Debbie has been through a lot in life and deserves all the happiness she wants as fans started to understand her deep past. Debbie, who is 70 years old now, first became pregnant when she was just 17 years old. Before meeting Colt's dad, Debbie was married to her first husband, Steve. Debbie was very much in love when she realized she and Steve were going to have a baby. Steve had been drafted and was between boot camp and being shipped to Vietnam. 90 Day Fiancé cast member Debbie and her first husband got married that time, and several months later, Debbie gave birth to her baby. Debbie's first baby was a boy, but he was premature, only surviving for an hour and a half before he died. Steve had to leave for Vietnam for a year, but when he came back, Debbie felt like he was not the same person, and something about him had changed. Debbie and Steve divorced when he received the heartbreaking news that she could never have kids again. However, Debbie met Harley and became pregnant with Colt. Unfortunately, Debbie's second baby, Colt, was also premature. He was born three months earlier than his due date. I didn't know if he was going to live or not, but he did. Debbie had confessed on screen. Because of this, Colt is very special and precious to Debbie who's been repeatedly mocked for babying Colt in previous seasons. Debbie's relationship with Colt 37 years later is in a bad place, and her moving to Canada with her new boyfriend, Tony, could mean she has to let go of Colt entirely. Debbie knows Colt, who moved out of their house after Debbie and his wife Vanessa Guerra's relationship soured, blows up whenever they sit down to have a conversation. I didn't know if he was going to live or not but he did, Debbie had confessed on screen. Because of this, Colt is very special and precious to Debbie, who's been repeatedly mocked for babying Colt in previous seasons. Debbie's relationship with Colt 37 years later is in a bad place, and her moving to Canada with her new boyfriend, Tony, could mean she has to let go of Colt. Entirely, Debbie knows Colt who moved out of their house after Debbie and his wife Vanessa Guerra's relationship soured, blows up whenever they sit down to have a conversation. Meanwhile, Debbie had to let Colt know about her Canada plans, but she's scared about her son taking it the wrong way and telling her that he never wants to see her again. Fans are hoping for Debbie's relationship with Colt to heal and for her to have a happy ending with Tommy as well. The 90 Day Fiancé star is still together with Tony and was recently spotted in British Columbia with him, which confirms the couple has managed to make it work after the single life season 3 stopped filming. But after all the tremendous losses she's had in her life, giving up on her codependent dynamic with Colt must have surely been hard on her. And so far, there have been no signs, which suggests things are back to normal between Debbie and her miracle baby Colt.